Today we're going to cover the installation of the Tsunami Regenerative Dryers. We're going to cover sizes from 10 horsepower through 30 horsepower. The first step is you're going to want to take out all the components from the shipping boxes that came in and validate that all the parts are in the kits. The second step in the installation is installing the wall mounting brackets. The single bracket is used for the 10 and 15 horsepower units and must support 75 pounds. The dual bracket is for the 20 and 30 horsepower units and that bracket must support 150 pounds. Please install with the proper hardware depending on what type of wall construction you're mounting it to. The next step of installing the dryer is to take the dryer and slide it down into the wall mounting bracket. Slide it over to the end. For installing larger dryers, the 15, the 20, and the 30 horsepower units, it's best to use two people to mount the dryers. Same thing, just raise them up. The next step is installing the JIC swivel adapter into the end, the outlet of the filter assembly for the pre-filter. The next step is installing the JIC adapter into the inlet of the dryer. Make sure you use proper thread adhesive or thread sealant tape. Now there's an outlet port on this side of the dryer. We're going to install this one inch hex headed plug in this side to plug this port. And we can use the, uh, the hex plug there to install. We're going to do the same on this side of the dryer. There's an in or auxiliary port on the right hand side of the dryer. So we're going to plug that as the only port on this side of the dryer that will be exposed now as your outlet going to your shop. Next step is taking the filter assembly and installing it to the JIC adapter with the swivel fitting. The next step is the black tubing provided in the kit. You can generally cut this in half with this wire snip or a cutter. What you're going to be doing is you're going to be connecting this to the push-in fittings on the drains on the filters and you're going to be connecting them to the drain valves in the second filter. We're going to connect that to the drain valve here. It does not matter which drain line is attached to each drain. What these drains do is they will drain the condensate and the oils that collect in these filters automatically as the dryer is cycling. Cut your drain tubing to the desired length and then connect to the bottom of the automatic drains. And you can route this tubing down to a bucket or to a drain and that's where the condensation and the oils will be discharged. The next step is installing the adapter to the side of the dryer. Make sure you snug this nut in. That'll lock that connector into the side of the dryer. Plug in your power supply to a grounded outlet. Now for countries outside of North America, in the kits, these prongs snap out and there's adapters. We have a, a seven adapters that are the most common adapters for most countries. Just snap the new adapter in and then plug that into your proper power. Prior to installing your Tsunami drying system, you need to plan for the additional plumbing required for the mandatory bypass system. This bypass system should be installed on any type of a drying system. What you can do is we're in a run mode right now where it's running through the dryer. If you need to service your dryer for any reason, what you want to do is you open up the bypass valve, you shut off your downstream valve, you shut off your incoming air. Now you're bypassing the drying system with the air going down to your plant or your shop. So you're not interrupting your flow. Now you can open up these ball valves and you can drain the pressure off of the drying system and you can perform any type of a maintenance on the drying system. And this concludes the installation of the Tsunami Regenerative Dryer.